All right, guys and girls, it's Jernigam here. Who's going to win the general election? Is it going to be Donald Trump or Joe Biden? Let's see what the guy says. It's very promising. Donald Trump has got 214 votes, so he's like Labour. Um, Joe Biden has got 253 votes. Uh, it could be promising, uh, Boris, um, not Boris Johnson. Uh, Trump could win by the last minute. Who knows? Uh, it could be Joe Biden that wins the last minute. We'll have to see. But this gives you some kind of rough idea that uh, it says here, 19 in 18 elections, electoral vote. President Trump, it talks about Joe Biden. We've got all the states at the red where Donald Trump is, has the red. Joe Biden has the blue. So it's like conservative versus Labour or Republican versus uh, conservative. Who knows? There could be other ideas I think what they do, but uh, let's play the video. One would say to me, you don't know today, but tomorrow will be different. Who knows who wins? Biden, it's looking... Right, so... Let's have a look at what it would take for either of these two men to make it into the White House. Clearly, for Joe Biden, it's looking like a more straightforward path. The 253 Electoral College votes, all he needs is to potentially... I'll say all he needs, it's no, by no means easy, is to win in Pennsylvania. That takes him over the line pretty clearly. But as I say, that's not, not straightforward, particularly when you look at the state itself. Now, let's consider Pennsylvania traditionally very much Democratic. So you see, they voted for John Kerry in 2004, then for Barack Obama, but it flipped to Donald Trump in 2016. And it's mainly this white uh, working class vote that Donald Trump really won with. They, in a, state, in a county, and we're kind of digging into to beneath the state line, looking at county-level data, in a county like Lackawanna, that's Scranton, though, Joe Biden has managed to get uh, up a bit. Compared with last time around, he is winning in Lackawanna. But here's the thing. He's not doing the same in every county in Pennsylvania. There are some, and this is uh, Columbia, a, a, a county that was Donald Trump before. He's managed, actually, to maintain his lead in this, this more rural part of the state of Pennsylvania, uh, and that's rather interesting because it suggests that there are some parts where his vote is holding up, but it's not all just about Pennsylvania. Clearly, Pennsylvania could well decide this. It's that state that we've been looking at uh, for so long, that pivot state, but there are other routes that potentially Joe Biden uh, could take. If he were able to win in Nevada and Arizona, you can see that also takes him up to 270, but what about for Donald Trump? Well, clear that off and consider how he could potentially get into the White House if he wins Alaska. We assume he's going to win Alaska. 233 for Donald Trump. His number getting up a bit, but it's got to go a bit further. He's got to win in North Carolina, potentially, uh, and in Georgia as well. We'll colour those in red as well. 268 for Donald Trump, though. And he's really still got to win Arizona, another state which went Republican last time, but who knows this time around. However, he'll certainly be happy that he got Florida. Do you remember that? Early on in the night, Florida went to Donald Trump. And it was a reminder, wasn't it, that all those polls saying that he wasn't going to win this time around, well, they were wrong. Look at what happened this time. This is showing you Republican support. Did you a poll on the roots? This is what actually happened. Look, he was better in Florida than the polls, better in Iowa than the polls, better in Minnesota than the polls suggested, better in Ohio as well. Texas. Better in Texas. What we do know for sure is that all those pollsters, once again, they've got egg on their faces. Mm. Which is some kind of rough idea, guys. Who do you reckon is going to win? Donald Trump or Joe Biden? Or it could be the last minute. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed that quick video and it's helped you out, guys and girls. If you follow politics and stuff, some people probably don't, but if you people do, then thanks for joining me. See you next one. Peace.